Guys, Tech Venture with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone stocks app if it's not working on your iPhone or iPad. So let's get started. So there may, may be multiple reasons why the stock app itself is not working, whether the app is frozen, the data is not downloading, or you cannot see any of the stock itself on your iPhone. Now, a couple things you want to do. The very first thing you want to do whenever you're having this issue is ensure that you have a good internet connection using either Wi-Fi or cellular data because the app relies on an internet connection to work properly. So what you'll want to do is turn on airplane mode briefly and turn it back off and does a quick network refresh so if there's any connectivity issue impacting your iPhone, it will resolve that issue. Now, after you have done that and let's say you're still having issues, the next thing you want to check out on your browser is go ahead and search for Apple system that is so what is this the very first link here which will take you to apple's system status it gives you status of all the services apple provides part of their ecosystem and you want to search for here in the list for the stock app itself so you want to see where it says stock you want to ensure that it says available if it says unavailable or there's issue you'll have to wait till apple resolves that issue with their server or whatever um they're providing usually they fix these issues within a few minutes sometimes a few hours but generally when it comes to these service being unavailable you just have to wait till apple resolve that issue but it's important that this available stock service is available for you to see stock stuff now after you have done that let's say you're having issues the next thing you want to try to do is just simply close out and reopen the app so in order to do that you're going to Go from the top here and then slide up to close out the app and reopen it. And it's just doing a quick restart so that if there was any buggy or issue glitching with your stock app, it will resolve that issue for you. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues with your stock app, the next thing you want to do is a forced restart of your iPhone. So in order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button just like that till the screen goes completely black so as you can see here i'm holding the phone with the side button with my finger waiting for it to go completely black and then once the apple logo reappears i'll let go of that button again it's volume up followed by volume down one after another and then the side button here and what this does is shuts down the phone completely and reloads the code so if there is the software related issue impacting your iPhone it will resolve that now go ahead and enter your passcode and get back onto your iPhone now this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos or apps so you don't have to worry about any of that now next thing you want to do if your stock app still isn't working on your iPhone is go into your settings of your iPhone and then once you go into your setting you are going to look for the stock app itself so under settings here you see stocks here and then you want to quickly turn this reset identifier on and check if it works and then turn it back on by default it's turned off but sometimes turning it on and off can help resolve any sort of issue that you may be experiencing with your stock app now after you have done that and let's say you're still having issues the next thing to do is deleting and reinstalling the stock app itself so in order to delete the app you press and hold and then you remove click on remove app and then delete app and then click on delete and then you're going to want to locate your app store and then open up app store again make sure you're connected to wi-fi or cellular data you go to a search pager and then search up stock so stocks here and then you want to make sure that you click on this one where it's from apple stocks and then there's a cloud with a arrow downward you're going to click on it and it will generally take a few seconds to reinstall it and then you go to the very last page here and then under app library recently added you press and hold the stocks app and then add it to home screen and you see here it's been added to the home screen and of course you can press and hold to remove it wherever you need to but after you have done that the new version of the stocks app is downloaded on your iphone so if there was any issues it will be resolved and hopefully you can go ahead and search your favorite app up now and be able to see the data now the last thing you can do if you're still having issues with this is updating your phone to the latest software version by going into settings and once you go into your settings here you go to general software update and check if there is a software update available if there is it's going to say download and install you'll click on download and install give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes and also make sure that your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged connected to a good internet connection and after that 
hopefully your stock app is working for you. So I hope this video was helpful in resolving the stock app not working on your iPhone. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.